Hi, my name is Bob Mayhew and I'm an 18 year veteran with the GTAC. This video will go over the basics of using NetSite console to configure VLANs on switches. Notice I only have one switch for simplicity. The first step would be to change to the VLAN tab within NetSite and then we can actually click this tri-colored button to start the VLAN editor. Notice that you'll have the option to create uh, more than one VLAN model. Uh, say you have a different location or a site that uses a different VLAN scheme, you can configure different models for those different locations and then we can use those within the tool to configure those sites individually. The first step is to actually create the VLAN itself. That's simply by um, selecting the model that you want to use, select the VLAN definitions and then we can actually click the new button down on the bottom right side. In this example, we'll, we'll name this VLAN red and we'll keep the VLAN ID of 2. We'll save that. Notice that's also created over here on the left hand side. What we'll do now is we'll close out of this. We'll highlight the switch that we want to work with and then we will retrieve the information from the switch. And now if we highlight this switch, we'll notice that the configurations are different between the switch and what is actually configured within the VLAN model. Notice on the switch I actually have two additional VLANs created. If I want to actually import that information, I would just highlight what I want to import. In this case, we'll just select the, the blue and the green, and then we'll click this Merge button in, in between. Now those VLANs are actually within the VLAN model itself. So if we go back in, we can see that those are listed there. Now that we have no unequal signs within this screen, we know that the VLAN model within NetSite and the switch are the same. We can then now go to the basic port and we can see all the port information. So from here we can actually change the, v, the, the PVID on different individual ports. Um, in this case we'll just select the ports 15 through 17. We can click the show hide table editor button and that will allow us to modify basically any of these fields that are active. In this case we'll just change these ports to say the blue VLAN. We'll apply that and now that you'll notice that these devices are these ports are actually set for that VLAN. We'll, we'll tell that to the switch and verify that. go a little bit larger than the range just so we can see that the other VLANs are still set for one. Thanks for watching and please call one of our global GTAC 800 numbers for assistance with this or any other NetSite console issues. Feel free to ask for me and I will be more than happy to assist if I'm available. More information is available at our website in terraces.com support.